What's up guys? Welcome back to Only with Tyler. Today I'm gonna be continuing the like the sword. I just wrapped it in a little bit of of like um, electrical tapes and it doesn't get dinged up or anything. And the first thing you need to do for the handle is to get a wooden pole the exact same size as that of, of like the bottom there. Then you're gonna cut it at exactly one foot. Just make sure to cut just a little bit out like um I'm like outside of the lines. So then it's not gonna. So like if you get too far in and it like breaks or, or something, you still have room to sand. And now you are like, you are gonna cut this in, like this in half, but you're gonna do it a long ways, which should be kind of fun. And this is not the real way to do it. I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing it this way because it's a lot easier and it, and like it takes off a lot of metal to like to cut. I actually don't have to cut any, which makes it really good. All right, so I have that in the vise right, right now, and I'm going to cut it. I hate when these things just come with them, and now I can get them off. Okay, so I'm going to use this saw. Sorry, take it out when you're only using one hand. And now I'm just going to put it right there, and I'm just going to start to cut. Alrighty, that took a lot of time. Now, um, now like katanas aren't like fully circular handles; they're more like um, ovals. So, so now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them on the belt sander, and then I'm just gonna do this for maybe maybe like five or so minutes, just to get them a little bit more flat on the on the very top. And then they still need to be smooth. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Got these done. They look more like um, um like katana handles now, and I just did a bunch of tiny little drill nicks on like like on here. So then, so when it gets glued, it might actually stay better. And then I made this little thing here. So then when some of the handles go like go off the edge there, they can like th um, that can prevent there from being any like space in there, and then it, and then it might have a better hold. And I'm gonna be using this glue here. It's like a um quick setting super glue types type stuff and now let's get to that all right so this is what the handle um like it looks like it's super, super good. I think that that glue actually works a lot better than like most glues do, and it and it dries faster too. And now we're just gonna need to go like to go get some um, electrical tape, and then we're just gonna need to start here. And then we're just gonna wrap it super, super tight all the way down, like down to here. So then, if we ever need to take the like take the rope off, then we can still have that like that tape holding it tight, and and then including the glue. So it should be a pretty tight seal all along. All right, that looks super, super good, but of course with the most bad luck in the world, it is just short. I bet I could like unravel it all and then I could just stretch it out more, but then I would lose a lot of the stickiness of it. I might do that because I can just like put a piece of tape on the end and then it would all be tight. But yeah, now it's time to wrap it up with the paracord. All right guys, I actually got it. And now I just have a bunch of the paracord um, um, like wound up here because for some reason they, they like to untangle um, it when they, like when they wrap, when they wrap it up. So yeah, now it's time to make the, like the handle and I'm just gonna get, I think, um, I'm just gonna get like a you know, 30 foot, like foot long one, and then I'm just gonna fold it in half. And then, and then I'm going to get a um, 15 foot long string, and then I'm just gonna tie it where like, um, I'm like where they meet. And yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, I have it. This is a lot of rope, and I think it'll probably fit that nicely. So it is, it is 15 feet long. It is, well, 
I just got a um, 30 foot one and then and then I just folded it in half and then I just got a 15 foot one and then I tied it right on the middle of there and now let's start to braid it. Like so this is how you braid if you don't already know. You just get the strings separated and you put two over there then you put one over there and you get that one put it in the middle that one's over there you put it in the middle then you get this one put it on top of that and then you just keep on doing that over and over and over again it doesn't really look good now because it's because it's not all tightened up but then but then once you tighten it up it'll it'll look really good now we just have to do that to 15 feet of paracord that's gonna be kind of nice i just just braid them all together this looks super super good and this and and like this could um 100 hold uh, like hold my weight because remember that video that i made i think maybe like two or three months ago about that about like um that grappling hook this like this is the same rope but then it has but then it has three of them wound to, wound together so this could hold my weight and i think it might have lost a little bit of length because it's just like shortening a tiny little bit every single time but now let's wrap this around the handle all right, so I just tried to wrap it with all uh, without using any glue, and apparently, forty-five feet of, of like a rope is still not big enough to like to um, cover that. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that. So, like, like said, on a better note, it's snowing. All right, so how you're gonna do this is you're just gonna get a little like a little dab of, of like a hot glue, and you're just gonna put it right on the end of the string, and then you're just gonna. And then you're just going to glue it on there, wrap it around twice, and then just going to wrap it back as far as you can. So I'm either going like going to wrap it all tight as as like as far as they can go and then just fill the rest in with like um like with regular paracord, not like not all braided, or I could space it out just just like a little bit and then I could put regular paracord in um I'm like in between it. So yeah, now I'm just going to glue this here and figure out what I'm going to do. So I just glued the string on. I'm just gonna add a like a little bit of extra paracord there. That's just gonna have like, if you need like super strong paracord and if you need just not as strong paracord here. But it looks super good. It's a little big, but it's still super good. Now I'm just gonna get that, like that other paracord and wrap it around there. Look at this, that looks awesome super like this super cord there and then just the regular cord there the one thing that i don't like about it is it has a little bump right there and that's and like and that's where the knot from like from this meets the knot from this and it, it's kind of well it could act as like a little like um there's like a little pinky guide or something to make, like to make your hang feel feel better on it but otherwise i say it looks super good now it is time to work on that little cap that goes right back there Unless you, and what you're going to do for that is you're just going to get a little piece of wood, then you're just going to sculpt it into this little thing here. I kind of messed up the cutting, so I'm going to have to sand that down. But this fits perfectly. Uh, where's my sword? I think it's inside. But like, but it, but it fits perfectly on the very end. And now I'm just going to, I'm just going to burn it a bit to give it a cool, like burned black, some parts black, like brown look to it. Now it looks like this, and that looks awesome. Now you're just gonna get some glue, and then you're just gonna glue it right onto the end there. And I think that I might have to do a little bit more, like more sanding, and then I can glue that on there. All right, I just put the cap onto the back there, and I'm saying that it is looking pretty good. All right, guys, this is the sword. It looks super, super good. And I think that I'm going to end the video here and and then the next video will will be on the like on the um, handguard piece. Thank you guys for watching.